My doll's better than your doll. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Listen857. So, you heard that little jingle? My doll's better than your doll. That has been going on for a long, long time. Too long, in fact. Way too long. And just because you have a Volks does not mean that your doll is better than mine. You know, I don't really understand why this is a thing. It shouldn't be a thing, and it's not really fair. You know, I had a friend that <clears throat> went to the BJDC last year in Austin, and she was surrounded by all these people with the Volks doll, and she had a Bobovi, and they told her that if she spent a little bit more, she could get an authentic doll. She was like, authentic? It's not a recast. What does she mean? Guys, we have got to stop doing this. We are not freaking 14 years old. I mean, some of you may be. Some of you may be fortunate and rich and have dolls when you're that young, but most of us didn't get dolls until we were in our 20s, and some of the best artists didn't even start in the hobby till they were in their early 40s. So I'm real confused as to why we are still price shaming each other we have got to stop price shaming and i never clap in videos but you guys have to listen we cannot keep price shaming it is just like attacking the recast people you're basically telling somebody i spent more money so my doll's better than yours why does that have to be a competition let me tell you something I have seen Bobobies and even some other smaller company dolls and cheaper dolls. Mo doll, I think, is one, and then there's another one. And I mean, I can name companies, but you probably know most of them. And I have seen design after design after design that is the equivalent to the most beautiful airbrushing or the most beautiful soft strokes or the most beautiful freckles or the most unique horns, or the most drastic shadowing, and I mean, if you're an artist, you can make something really cheap look like a thousand bucks easy, but it's not about that they have a cheap doll, because I've talked to people who legitimately bought this doll, whatever brand it was, because they liked the sculpt. They didn't buy it because it was cheaper. They bought it because they generally liked it. Because most people in the hobby, if there's really a doll they really, really wanted, whether it be their growl or just something beautiful they saw on BJD Collectacy or Doc US or Denver Doll, if anybody sees something they really, really like, they'll either lay away it then and get a head start on it. It's basically theirs. Or they'll wait until they have the money. But some people don't really care and they see a beautiful doll and it might be a doll leaves for two something and people are like oh I paid like nine something or I paid like twelve hundred so mine's better first of all <laughs> we don't all like the same things so I'm gonna stop you right there um, if you guys looked over my videos I used to have a K Wiggs doll. Now this is no shame, no shade, no salt, nothing cringy, nothing. We're not talking about that. This is no shame to K Wiggs. It's a beautiful doll, but I didn't love it. You know what I mean? I bought it because I always wanted K Wiggs. I thought it was a beautiful brand. I love the dolls, but I didn't have a really good connection to it. You know what I mean? Well, for some other people, that may be the best doll they've ever seen. They love it. They want it. They want it all around. Not quite with me. You show me the Bobobi dolls or some of the other ones that have the really cool horns, the really cool headpieces, or like, I mean, I've seen some really cute, even I've seen some cuter sculpts on a USD, USD, whatever you want to call it, than I have on an MSD and sometimes even SD, and we all know the event pieces are adorable AF. So, tell me why we are price shaming each other. Guys, we're in 20 freaking 17. I mean, really. And not only are we price shaming each other, we're trying to discriminate against people that have ball jointed dolls. 
oh, you have a monster high, so you can't be on here even though it's technically ball jointed. Oh, you have an Evangeline, so you can't be on here. We need to stop this. And what's funny about the whole situation, well, it's not really funny, it's actually kind of sad, is that most of the people who are ragging on people are the older ones. And, and I hate to say it because it's kind of backwards, you know what I mean? Like, not to stereotype, but you would expect the young ones to be the ones starting the drama, not the older ones. Look, I completely understand loving your doll, bragging about your doll, telling everybody this is the most beautiful, wonderful doll I've ever seen. It's mine and I love it and, and he inspires me and he's beautiful. But we all have our own taste. What you like, I may not like. What I like, you may not like. Guys, I've seen the dislikes on some of my videos. I know you don't like the doll. <laughs> I'm not blind. You know what I mean? Like, we don't all like the same things. And pricing should never be so, it should never be a thing. Oh, I paid more, so I have the elite. And yours is all, like, lower class. Every single one of these dolls is one of a kind. Yours is not better because it costs more. That's, that's it. That's the end of the story. In fact, I'll just end the video here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I talked just a wee bit more about this. Um, no, but seriously, guys, we, we can't continue acting this way. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want this whole channel to be all the negative things in the hobby, but like I said, there's people who won't talk about it. And, and I would, I would hate to see somebody go on to a Facebook group or DOA or Etsy or eBay or whatever and just sell all their dolls, all their clothes, all their accessories, all their eyes, everything because somebody at a doll meet or one of their friends or somebody in the hobby told them that it was less than. I have said this before and I'm going to say it again. If you don't have the money, it's a lot. If you don't have a hundred dollars, it's a lot. If you have bills to pay, it's a lot. It's always going to be a lot. That's why you and I, you the viewer and me, the uh, content creator are a little crazy. <laughs> because we see the value in them. We see the beauty and we spend. But it, it's because it gives us something. You know what I mean? But what I'm trying to explain is we don't need to price shame other people. And we don't need to make them feel bad for whatever they have, whatever they don't have. Because we're all in this together. And that's why I told you, even with the recast people, guys, I, I don't support stealing art, but I'm never going to bully somebody in my entire life without knowing their shoes, having walked in their shoes. That's not me. Never will be. Never going to happen. But I'm just surprised that it's on these forums. And I'm not afraid to talk about the forums. A lot of people aren't aren't but they're they're they won't say it all they'll bleep things out or whatever and i get that you know but there are terrible whisper forums that's what they're called they're called whisper forums you write in something in and you rag on somebody or you go to tumblr and you put your confession about what you think is terrible about this person and basically try to ruin their reputation all across the board i've had people call me a misogynist a racist I mean, this is crazy. Oh, you don't have that many female dolls. You must not like females. Oh, you don't have that many black dolls or dark-skinned dolls. So you're racist. Oh, your dolls, your male dolls are transgender. So you're, well, we're not going to say that word on this channel. But people have said some crazy things. And what I find it hilarious about the situation is they have to run on to these little confession blogs because they would never say it to my face or your face. Let me tell you something, honey. You won't get very far. And that doesn't mean I'm going to hit them. That means that I would call the police so quickly that you wouldn't even, your head would spin. I don't deal with that kind of threat. I'm not going to deal with that kind of threat in the hobby. And you shouldn't feel that way. Nobody should feel that way to doll mate. Nobody should leave feeling sad. That's not, that shouldn't be something that happens to anybody. And nobody should have a friend that makes them feel that way. Or even call of somebody a friend that makes them feel that way. So if you had anybody price shaming you, or shaming you about 
kind of doll you have, what kind of doll you don't have, how theirs are better. Just tell me, you know what? I love this doll. This doll brings me life. This doll is my whole heart. And if you don't understand that, we don't need to be friends. Viewers watching, subscribers, people just clicking by this video, I only have two legitimate friends in the ball joint doll hobby. Two. Two people that are on my Facebook, two people who see the dolls I put out besides this channel, and two people that I trust with my whole heart because they have never criticized me, they've never judged me. If we had falling outs in the community, they helped me. And they're basically the people who pulled me out when I was falling down and nobody would grab my hand in the hobby when I was new. Those are the kind of people you need. Be careful about who you add on your social media before you really get to know them because I've made the mistake of adding some crazies. <laughs> and when I say crazies, I mean, and I'm not even talking about politics. I am talking about people who get upset over the most ridiculous things. The best example I can give you is there was an artist on Tumblr. You might know who I'm talking about. And she was taking the private part. I was trying to figure out how to say this and make it PG. She was taking the private part of a doll and making it look realistic. And then sometimes she was sculpting it and selling them. And people got real, real, real upset. Oh, you shouldn't sexualize a doll. What are you doing? This is crazy. You're sick. You're this. You're that. I mean, that's the way people get on each other. And then they'll go run off to the little confession vlogs. Um, guys, grow up. Like, come on. Like, come on. You wouldn't really say anything in person. I hope you're not crazy. But what I mean is... There are so many more important things in your life you should be doing than bullying people in the hobby for how much they spend for their own doll that they bought with their own money. Does that make sense? So, just kind of worry about you. That's the point of this video. Um, unless, like I said in the last one about fraud, unless you see like somebody doing something sketchy or involved in something that you doesn't think right, that's different. But if somebody is like, I bought this cheaper brand doll, don't be like, you know, it's not yours. Like that's, that's the whole thing at the end of the day. It's not yours. If they love that doll, let them love it. I've seen people love dolls they never paint. That has become a thing. They will legitimately buy a doll and they leave it blank. And um, that's the way they want it. They'll dress it. They'll give it eyes. They'll give it wigs. But it's blank. So, all the right to you. Anyway, guys, I'm going to just cut it here because I'll just keep rambling if I keep talking. If you did like this video, hit the like button. And there is a notifications bell. Once you subscribe, it's a little bell. It says notifications. Turn them on. It will tell you when I post a new video. And um, if you want to comment, do that in the doobly-doo. And thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.